Eh, testing, testing, one, two, three, four, attention! You filthy earth stink beasts, prepare to meet your moosey fate as you embark on the Tokyo Black Hour Death Podcast. Ha! <laughs> I am Zim, ready to rain down doom. Welcome back to the Tokyo Black News in Review, episode 187, and we are back. Yeah. And for you few gracious people who check in every week, we appreciate you. Yeah, we, we do sure love do. you. Oh, we love the hell out of you. Thank you. Hey, you know what I'm about to say? Go ahead. Hey, somebody call um, Area 51. That nigga Zim talking that spitting that shit. He's talking <laughs> that real. <laughs> Screaming 187 on a motherfucking moose. Oh, hell yeah, nigga. This shit legit. Hey, bro. <laughs> The FBI and CIA talking about it, so why he can't? <laughs> That's fucking true, bro. Well, we got a sponsor this week. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, yeah, no shit. They paid us all $5 a piece. PHW, delicatessen paper. It's so thin, you won't know nothing on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but shout out to shout out to my boy, White. Welcome back to the Drum Beats Award. While we're not worried about World War Three, starvation, economy crashing, Sri Lanka, monkey pops is back, people. And then we have people in Massachusetts and all over Europe catching monkey pops. I just want to say one simple thing. My niggas, stop. You ain't going <laughs> to kill everybody. You tried with COVID. It didn't work. But now the goddamn World Health Organization, who claim they may be getting it through sexual contact, my nigga. Stop it. Ain't nobody sleeping with no nigga with a bunch of bumps on his hand in their face. Bro, I'm like like you. Please, (laughs) preach, my nigga. Preach. Do you not understand? I don't understand why all disease got to start in Europe. Nigga, that shit should never make its way over here. Once it hit the news over there, nigga, close it down. Nigga, shut it down. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, what? Who transmitting small? Who? who am I bad? Who transmitting monkey pops, nigga? Well, it's in Massachusetts. Like five people in the United States have. Well, you gonna see them niggas? They got leprosy now, nigga. Still, <laughs> stay what, away from me. Luckily, it's curable with the smallpox vaccine. So, it's but the reason people are catching it is because we had almost eradicated smallpox until you. Some of you dumb motherfuckers don't want to get your vaccines and shit. Yeah. It ain't that, bro. The Can't human be. body will always beat that shit in the long run. Nigga, the common cold been around 100 years. All that shit is man-made. That's why they got to give you a vaccine, nigga. <laughs> Anytime somebody say you need a vaccine, always remember the disease is made. That's human-made shit. Man-made shit. You want to know why, Brad? Think about it. A nigga used to use tree sap to heal his wound. <laughs> right? Think about it, nigga. All the small things, nigga. Man, you should you should hear the stories about how they had to bring a nigga from old den back in the day. Gave him a saline shot, they call it. It was hot water and salt. They called it a hot shot back in the day. It said, nigga, rough from the grave like thriller. <laughs> 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 then he said, he said, nigga, be old den. Yeah, he used to call him Doc. Them motherfuckers get that hot water, that salt, shoot that shit in his vein. Boy, nigga, wake up. I'm here, <laughs> yeah. I'm here, Doc. You know why they're saying it's sexually transmitted, though, is because all this baby food shortage. They can't have motherfuckers out there making more babies. Y'all got to tighten up a little bit. And, so. Who going to fuck with a nigga with the pox? <laughs> Any pox. Chicken pox, small pox, <laughs> daddy pox, nigga. Corn pops, nigga. Lollipop. Yeah, all them lollipop. There you go, Jamal. Nobody want to fuck no nigga with that. Come on, man. That shit is sad. Chicken pops, chicken pie, all that. Nigga, nobody want to fuck with you. Don't blame vaccine, people. Be smart. Be smart, nigga. We eradicated. Don't you tell me four niggas mysteriously caught it from the thin air. (laughs) If it needs a vaccine, it is man made. (laughs) So let's welcome back to. 187 people, you're going to have the three amigos. going to be J.R., the most unarticulate man in the world. We're going to have Color, a.k.a. Jermaine, yes. your daddy from the future, past, in the multiverse, and the man with the cleanest bald head of all, my man Brandon, a.k.a. the white liaison. If you can't explain it for white people, he will. <laughs> I do like to keep the fresh Lex Luthor on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, criminal as hell. Be out here looking like a hippie. 
Ain't nothing wrong with you that. You're a well dressed nigga. If I ever seen what the motherfucking uh what them what them pants was. Oh the yeah, Jinkos. Yeah, and if I see you with them, hey my nigga. You can't hang out with me with them Jinkos, huh? Gotta take them off before you come in the club. <laughs> you you look like a carrot top, pants. nigga. Get away from me. Yeah, I don't think you gotta worry about me wearing the Jinkos. Oh man, good nigga. Your Adidas ain't gonna look good with them on. Just telling you, cuz. Man, they just look dope with a fat pair of shell toes. I don't know. We're getting way off topic. Hey, nigga, I can't wait. I dare you to put them on. <laughs> yeah, shit. Fucking Diesel Boy is coming. Yeah. All right, nigga. Yeah. I don't know who that is. I have is. the slightest idea who that is. <laughs> Let's get on down to the people who will no longer be able to see Diesel Boy. Death stalks you at every turn. Grandpa? Well, it does. Ah, death! There it is, Diesel. If you get a chance, go see Diesel Boy. He's off the hook. I like. I would assume so. Nigga, you got good taste in music, Brandon. Oh, I follow you. I've seen him like a dozen times. Probably he is fucking an OG. He's dope. I'm tired of seeing niggas make more money than me at shows. (laughs) And then white people spit on the back of your neck. (laughs) <laughs> Let's get on down fresh off the Star Wars Princess Princess Colin Kentwell, concept artist who designed the iconic Star Wars spacecraft. He is dead at ninety. Do you know? I I I I, I would like to interrupt this man' life for a hot second. Do you know his pussy game did not go up? <laughs> <laughs> you, you did, did well. You ain't Han Solo. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he, I mean, yeah, he wasn't getting Harrison Ford pooned, but I guarantee you that guy got laid at least six times off of that. <laughs> His whole ninety years of living. I mean, I'm just saying, slow down. You just designed the ship. You ain't flying the ship. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, pretty, <laughs> but, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure he had banged some artists or some computer graphic people. You know, but between like seventy five and eighty two, that motherfucker was doing work off designing them ships. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Shit, you know what else he designed later in his career, though, that I found surprising? I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. <laughs> well, I know who this man is. He he designed all the squadron ships and all that. Don't know him personally. Don't even know him. Oh, if man. I see him in the, if I see him in Golden Corral, excuse me, old man. Are about, you going to get that piece of ham? <laughs> I was about to say, if that cracker raided you over in his car, you wouldn't be able to pick him out of the lineup, old man. You know what I'm saying? You said he did. What? <laughs> <laughs> he but he had that. to be getting paid for that for the rest of his life, though, right? Oh, yeah, probably I'm sure. Not. Yeah, I'm sure that. Well, I say I'm sure, but I'm sure he probably did get screwed for their fucking rights. And yeah, he's probably oh, been yeah. living in squalor all this time. But uh, he well, looked he looked pretty normal. He you know he was at conventions and shit. You know, shout out to him making that money. That's about oh, yeah. it. Nigga, gotta go to work, honey. Gotta go on a convention tour. Yeah, for 10 years. <laughs> gotta pay the house off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that convention money, easy money. You sit down and sign an autograph. Right. Moving on to TikTok creator Dub King. His name was Dub King. I thought they were called, they were dubbing him as the King, but his name was Dub King. Was he the TikTok creator? Or was he a, a, a TikTok? Oh, it's a TikTok creator. I don't know if that's like. The Dub King, did he create TikTok? No, he, no, no, he, no. He was just, He's a, just a he, creator on TikTok. When did they start calling them creators and start instead Man, of that? They, when when the nigga ain't got when the nigga didn't used to have nothing to do in film and everything, you know, we called him a nerd. Now these niggas making money. Nerds <laughs> with money. They well, ain't no creator. They just young, acting crazy. This young Asian man died at forty three, brought a thyroid fever. I don't even know what that is. Oh, wait. Was it the Asian guy? Then he might yeah. have actually created TikTok. Not that, like, I don't think so. TikTok bro. itself. Hey, that, look, don't read the phrase. Brandon said that because that nigga said Asian guy. Look at him. He looked too young to be creating TikTok. Yeah. No, no, hand to God. I think I think that's the dude. You know. What Bruh. the fuck is thyroid fever? <laughs> that's, that's another problem, nigga. Yeah. I don't know, nigga. Where you contract that at, nigga? Yeah, they say you got to get a vaccine one. for that. Man made shit, see? <laughs> yeah. Was it thyroid or typhoid? Oh, I'm probably read that shit wrong. <laughs> typhoid fever. I what the hell is typhoid? Wait, what would you what would you retrieve typhoid fever? Nigga? Oh, it is typhoid, sorry, not thyroid. It okay. is typhoid. I was like, fever. thyroid fever. I've never heard of typhoid. Mo- 
Uh, you know, the most unarticulate man in the world. So, you know. <laughs> Could you please explain to me what typhoid is? I want to know how this nigga died. Oh, God. Typhoid fever. It was a thing that swept through, you know, Europe, I think. Yeah. Always in Europe. <laughs> they saw it there. And that shit migrate here. Nigga, look at this man. And then yeah. nigga talking about how they eat fish and chips. But I was, repeat it, this man. It was, it was pretty heinous from what I understand. Like, I don't think you just get a fever and then just pass out, you know, like. Typhoid. Oh, I know what. Moving on to undefeated boxer. Who saw you, Muck? Yeah, Muck. Died in the middle of a fight, bro. This motherfucker was undefeated. And he died in the middle of a fight. Well, what no, a heart attack. Yeah. You know who is. You know who else is undefeated? Death. <laughs> that nigga killing. record is impeccable. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. O. Oh. Yeah. Bro. Nine billion and O. Oh. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> the planet destroyer, nigga. Have you not seen me? <laughs> I wipe uh, everything out. Hey, Brandon, in, in lieu of early, that nigga should have had that bell. <laughs> <laughs> and nigga, they, they would have stopped the fight. <laughs> uh, moving on to goddamn Bernard White. Funk and jazz singer and godson of Roberto Flack. Roberto. Did it. Is it Roberta? The most unarticulate man in the world, people. Got to live by the name. Roberta Flack, dead at 58. Allegedly, this man was heavily sampled in the rap game. But, you know, I do remember his song, Who Do You Love? Who Do You Love? Something like that. So everybody used that goddamn sample 9,045 kajillion times. Oh, this Brandon. Man is fat. Oh, Brandon finna use the sample too. Use it, use it, Brandon. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. When I listened, when I heard the song, I'm like, damn, I know this song. The guy should be jamming to this shit. <laughs> you know, if I see this man at any gas station, can you, you know, owe me a dollar? My man, you got it. <laughs> see, he was famous. He had a couple of hit songs. He was out there, had two albums, you know. Okay. The nigga mm-hmm. had one picture they found from the 18, I mean, 1984. I hate it. This nigga was a rap god, uh, whoever the fuck a he singer. was. A he, was he was recorded with Dougie Fresh, Kim. Cameo, Bobby Brown, Miles Davis. This nigga was putting in work, man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I ain't mad at it. Yeah. I ain't mad at it. 58 too early to go, man. But hey, yeah, no shit. Man, in the 80s, he probably was getting Poutine be uh what you believe. Oh, I can I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. But it rains, right? Dougie Fresh and shit. And Bobby Brown, you know, God mm. knows how much crack, allegedly. Mm. You know, he had to start with Coke first. <laughs> John Aylward, he was on ER West Wing. He was dead at 75. I have screwed this man's name up, but I hate to say it, Brandon. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. We were sitting in the movie theater. You good, my man? <laughs> yeah, excuse me, my brother. I don't want to drop no popcorn on you, white man. I was on West Wing, nigga. I never looked at it. <laughs> Put your cell phone away. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Don't be, don't be, don't, don't be looking for no, don't be clout. Don't be chasing no clout in here. West Wing, like I've seen that. I'm, nigga, I, I ain't a hundred. What was West Wing on? Regular TV? Yeah, it was on like NBC or something. Uh, yeah. know, them niggas be showing y'all how shit go in real life. Y'all be like, oh, that's just a TV show. Oh, everybody oh, say that. Nigga, Not, that shit yeah. real. Moving on to Marine. Marina? Scarlet? Scarlet How do you say this young lady name? Oh, shit. Uh, well, never mind. She was on As the World Turns. She died from cancer at 37. So oh. I'm going to do the gracious honor and not lead these people along all the way. <laughs> you know, yeah. motherfuckers still trying to get wife Black Panther 2, and I'm still talking. <laughs> Sit those people up to heaven, Brandy. <laughs> Got anything to say, racist Joe? <laughs> Who yeah, do you love? <laughs> that should be my jam, boy. <laughs> Young King. I love TikTok and heavy, man. You got me like tween. Let me clear my throat. I got four followers. <laughs> <laughs> Elvin, Hitler, I'm doing real good with Hitler. <laughs> uh, all those people passed away. We'll holler at y'all and see y'all on the next go round. Yeah, we gave y'all. Y'all ain't getting no cherry now. Y'all got the motto, but nigga, I'm going to start reading. 
I'm gonna start reading these folk names right one day. I'm gonna start doing the real DD, <laughs> but I do not do the DD at you all. You did do your due diligence. We gave him a shout out. Ain't nobody else gave him a shout out on no podcast. Nobody know these people. Somebody gave him a shout out. <laughs> Somebody gave him a shout out. So moving mm-hmm. on, all of these great stories are gonna be from May the 16th all the way to May the 22nd, 2022. We gonna call this the Monkey COVID era. We just got over. Hey, look, got over the hill. Now, nigga, rolling back down it. Damn. Uh, only place you can catch monkey pops in Massachusetts. Living in America. <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all this. niggas to tighten up. It's a sex doll. <laughs> <laughs> you better stay away from that sex doll. You might be catching monkey pox. Right. <laughs> And they said they trying to, you know, they trying to see if it. I said, y'all trying to see? That sound like you niggas trying to explain how you can catch monkey pop doing sex. I told you, boy, about 20, no, 400 podcasts ago, y'all could be wearing chain mail in the bed. <laughs> Just smacking leather. <laughs> how you feel, baby? You like that? <laughs> a, little, a little rough around the edges, but it's good. Hey, shit, you ain't lying. I oh, need you nigga to type up, man. Let's get on down to good old American news. You know why, Brandy? Yeah. Living in America. <laughs> Where every time we step outside, I got to fight a new disease. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Living in America. <laughs> I got to tighten up. So we're going to ask Dr. Uh, Dr. Fauci. We, we not, we're not important enough to get to Dr. Fauci. So we got his uh, his twin brother. who Yes. Lives. Yeah, who, who, who live in Sharpsboro, Georgia? <laughs> He's a taxidermist. Need... Dr. Malchie, my man. Nah, not really. We talked to the real Dr. Fauci. <laughs> he down here hanging with us now. Is it, <laughs> am I still low key? <laughs> no, nah, my nigga. You don't get no more peach schnapps, my man. They are asking some questions and they need you <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> yes. Who want to talk about monkey pops or COVID? I want to ask Dr. Fauci one question. I'm sorry, Dr. Fauci. Jersey Shore is making a spinoff called Buckhead Shore being shot in Atlanta for a new MTV season. What you think about that? <laughs> Bruh, I think there ain't a fucking ocean within 300 miles of Buckhead. It must what be is ocean it? wild. Them black folks there, because they sure here keep running their mouths shooting up, nigga. <laughs> what, what, are they, what, what shore are they talking about? Lake Altoona? Fucking white water. You what? wear your mask. You won't see the white shore. If you're smoking gas in Buckhead, I always remember put on two masks. <laughs> It'll kill the monkey pops and you won't catch COVID. Do you know that some nigga pitched this to another cracker? And I'm going to say cracker. <laughs> white people will take anything. Brandon? Uh, uh, hey, look. Hey, Jamal, you know, we're in reenactment. Hey, Brand, I got a good idea. Let's do Buckhead Shores. It's like Jersey Shore was in Buckhead. <laughs> that fucking bucket. Yeah. And it costs you that $100 sounds... million dollars to shoot, nigga. That sounds fantastic. Well, and yeah. we found out all the <laughs> niggas from Jersey Shores are pieces of shit. Like, I've looked at like one episode of Jersey Shore. And I'm like, how the fuck was this on TV so long? Who was watching these greasy head ass nigga? <laughs> one match would have ruined their whole day. <laughs> I didn't understand the show whatsoever. <laughs> I said, what the fuck is a Snooky? You let your daughter get called Snooky. I said, y'all are embarrassing. <laughs> that was a family. hooker's name, and I met her. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all got money now. Don't get me wrong. Now niggas were loving Jersey Shore, and I just don't understand why. I... This nigga had multiple shows after Snooky had her own show. Two of the motherfuckers slick. The uh, you know the. Yeah. The troll hair people had their own show. Yeah. Mikey <laughs> fall in love. One of them is a DJ now. Goes on tour. People pay to see him. Hey, man, work that magic as long as you can, man. Let's get oh, on yeah. down. That's somebody who can no longer work that magic. Boy, that boy Joe Biden just sliding down. Got a little Fox <laughs> dude, boy. Because okay. I tell you one thing. As much as people was breaking out old Trump, or Fox News been goddamn hitting that, that, that Joe Biden whip across America. Joe Biden rum his um his ratings yeah, plummet to thirty nine. Yeah, nigga, poll number dip it low, bring it up slow. <laughs> you know what his poll it. his poll number said. Death stalks you at every turn. <laughs> Grandpa. He, what it does? He's insane. Now that motherfucker talking about monkey pops is a concern. I like my man. 
you, you know you go to Golden Corral, right? And you got so much shit on your plate and that shit falling everywhere. Your plate full, man. You need to start taking care of some of this shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't see the motherfucker with a Golden Corral his plate be so big. You you eating with your eyes but not your stomach. Yes. Joe Biden, boy, you fucking up, boy. Terrible. 39%. He's under 40%. Yeah. Bruh, I have. Can we run the bet real quick? Sure. Before he's four years old, bruh. That nigga will see 29%. You think? Man, I'd give a nigga 15. If he do any more, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, all, all the terrible shit we talk about is coming. And his, his shit got to go down. What he going to do? The nigga just handed out $8 billion. Uh, what he needs to do is... I've ordered more pills than anyone in the world has. Well, my nigga, give me some. I want to sell some. Nigga, the economy down. I need a boost. And I don't think, you know, I don't know what the hell going on with Joe Biden, but people say you can't blame him. When you the man in charge, who do you blame, Brandon? Why can't we blame him? Yeah, he didn't cause that nigga to look a little deeper. He's still playing old school politics. Well, hell, he may not have caused it, but he ain't fix it neither. So, yeah, he was supposed to be building back better. Like, what the, where? Yeah, that nigga breaking backs better. That nigga (laughs) tricked me. On his first motherfucking day. Well, y'all remember when I said that shit? They gonna come back on the podcast. And they gonna be like, y'all remember? Hey. I'm like, God damn, that nigga went straight to work. <laughs> on his first, he, he was on, he's like, we got work to do. That nigga walked into the White House with a bunch of papers and came out just like, damn. <laughs> that nigga had this shuffle. And oh, after, yeah. And after yeah. God damn, you know, Elon Musk, it ain't Elon Musk, but allegedly it's another Joe Biden story. This nigga Twitter followers, half of them are fake. They know this. They YouTube pay. I told somebody like Dusty Kill sent us YouTube pay. I said, bro, you mean to tell me only 10,000 people are watching the White House YouTube pay? <laughs> that shit on CNN, nigga, we don't need to see that. And you ain't going to show all the real shit. So why wouldn't them follow you on YouTube for, nigga? Man, I, want... you just, just look at the White House, bro. And then guess what they turned off? I don't. Why you got the comments turned off? You can't take the heat from the American people? <laughs> no. Well, do you want to be that nigga exhausting your heat uh, to the fucking White House? I will leave them comments on and I will get them hard pipe hit niggas to hit everybody who talk crazy. Run that nigga page. <laughs> run the IP. The IPA. Not the IPA. What is it? The, the IP, IP address. Number. Yeah. The, the IP, IP address. address. I need that shit. Go there, break his teeth. Bring me four on um, back, nigga. Joe Biden been hit how looking like a goddamn... A, a African king with all them white teeth on his on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought, man, you fuck it out. You the president. You know you got information on everybody. Yeah, hey, nigga who talking crazy. Somebody they want their country back. Kitty porn. Kitty porn. <laughs> Just be tearing their ass up left and right. And a nigga at the Capitol. Get it, porn. Yeah. Fucking, what was Trump's lowest number? He's got to be getting close to it, right? Yeah. Trump I was, he, I think he done passed that nigga. Trump was at what? 30, Trump stayed four years, nigga. This nigga on year two. Already at 39. You know how bad that is to start at 100, nigga, and go to 39 that fast? That's failure. And we're not in the kitty point either. We just normally say that because the government always throw oh, kitty yeah. point on a nigga when they start talking nonsense. Don't, Don't forget look. the nigga from WikiLeaks. <laughs> they got him for kitty point. I'm like, damn. Is that all? All oh, they made that nigga spilled out. They said, Kitty point out like y'all niggas insane. Go look at that Will Smith movie. He ain't slap nobody with the other white dude. What's it called? What's your up? What's the Will Smith move with the white dude? He was running from the government. He's like, What he got on me? Was the enemy of the state? Yes. Yeah, what he got on me? Kitty point now? <laughs> yeah, he said that and that shit too. What is it this week? Kitty point? That's fucked up, boy. Moving on. Let's get on down to somebody who's frustrated and mad. Putin, wasn't it? I love, I love to see how people saying Putin is sick, and you know he's in bad health, and the Kremlin is losing all. The Kremlin is losing hope, and I think I say, if this nigga's sick, it should be easy to push him over right now, right? <laughs> is he still got niggas who ready to blow up everything? Yeah, I'm sure he's still ready. Fucking uh, man, man they talking about he had to leave a meeting to get special drops because he got like some serious form of cancer. Man, can I can I can I can I jump in real quick and say something very expounding? How are these American people getting this information without this? Ni- he don't trust nobody, bro. So how he? Tr- how, what, what y'all getting this from? This nigga ain't looking ill. 
Cause he's still doing whatever work he's doing at mass effect. Yeah. I said he's still blowing up goddamn people. What you mean he's sick? It don't look like he's sick. You hoping he die or something, nigga? That he, who, who's up next, nigga? What y'all doing, man? Come on. I don't know. Is, guess guess Killary got her another one. <laughs> it gave me fucking cancer. You son of a bitch. I don't know. I don't understand. But like I said, if the people are hurting that bad and they tell me they trying to pull a coup, when a nigga got to lead to get special drops, be a damn good time to holler him, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. But if they, you know, you can't trust everything you get from there over there. That nigga just was swimming in set with below degree. He he wanted no polar bear. Yeah. Yeah. He they got said, no goddamn accounts. <laughs> that motherfucker don't beat that shit. <laughs> you getting that, that cold ass water. That shit cure everything. That shit draw me up. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker jump in icy cold water. They make everything small. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> oh, uh, but moving on. Uh, another, uh, another Trump and Putin story. I think we re- we responded to this shit a couple of while a while ago. When Putin was getting mad because he had to keep explaining the shit to Trump. Let me explain to you how we could destroy the world. Man, nigga, hold off on that. The Apprentice season nine coming up. We'll, you want to watch it? Yeah, what about that Black Panther 2, man? I heard that shit's going to be real nice. Dude, they nigga. said that he waited until Joe Biden was president to fucking start that war because he could negotiate better with Biden because at least he had a grip on fucking, you know, international politics and shit. Hey, nigga, I'm going to blow up the world with nuclear. Nigga, you lying to me. Hey, get this man a Coke. He, he Get him a Snickers. He hey, well, I, like need some, I need that PP. Pure Peruvian. <laughs> Nigga, what's up? What you blowing up? Hey, you talking you know? to my son. He know everything. Yeah, <laughs> this nigga's man. insane. Oh, no one cares. Moving on. Boop, boop, boop. We got to get on down and Tucker Carson. This is from the Guardian. This, this hillbilly. This this goddamn turncoat. This nigga <laughs> get fired from like what? CNBC or whoever he worked Fox. for. Nah, he was on um, CNBC and NBC in the beginning, and now he on Fox. This motherfucker Tucker Carson tried to use Hunter Biden to get his son into Georgetown. First off, if your son ain't good enough to get into Georgetown, he ain't good enough. Right. You can't get him into Georgetown. You ain't got enough juice. You got to go to Hunter Biden. Eh. Is he going to fucking Parmesan Cheese Town? Yeah. Uh, and he, you know, he, he sent them a goddamn email. Are you white folks just leaving goddamn shit behind? I don't know, man. Like, I mean, it just goes to show you, though. Fucking, there ain't no two parties. They're all in on it. It's all a facade. You know what I'm saying? Those motherfuckers just pretend to hate each other and then do backdoor backslapping deals behind our back just to keep us divided and fucking you know, hating each other. Them motherfuckers don't, they ain't opposed to nothing. That's why I told him, I said, nigga, what you fight for him for? You a fool in the half. Them <laughs> niggas living well and you living bad. Get my tenfold hat. Yeah. Motherfucker be talking, where the fuck? Tucker Carton. He talk crazy every goddamn day, but you know, they, they, they put this out there. That nigga had to do that moonwalk. That ain't my email. <laughs> nigga. Is that what he said? Gotcha. Really? He didn't say that at oh, all. That nigga oh, was quiet okay. about that. I'm sure that he nigga, was. He came out with that slick hat. That nigga had looking like Chucky at first. Nigga took a car and came to work. I got to talk about my email. Yeah, yeah, my nigga, today. Yeah, yeah all them Hillary emails now. Here you, here you come. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we got your coffee already made, my nigga. You ain't got to go out now. Yeah, you've been <laughs> written up six times, too, nigga. You for Fox. Man, how you going to send... That's why he what? never said nothing about goddamn Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden. He never said nothing about him. Never, he never even really brought up the whole email situation at all. Did he not? No, he never, he never I really never talked about Joe Biden's son. Huh. Never oh, heard him say a thing. Well, all right, fair enough. Probably because he knew that this shit was hanging out there. Yeah. Bro, y'all nigga, I, can I say something, Brandon? Sure. Please elaborate. Y'all crackers got money. Why y'all nigga doing dirty? Asking another nigga to do you a favor when you got money. That's hey, what I Sometimes your money ain't good. Yeah. <laughs> your money well, ain't no nigga, good here, my man. My, yeah, my son ain't going there. Nigga, fuck it. 
That's what I said. You're Tucker Carlson. You ain't got enough juice to get your son into Georgetown. Yeah, nigga. Let him play basketball for a season. <laughs> nah, he want to play. Bro, I seen somebody say we are the two, the 2020-22 Frisbee champions. I said it's a championship for that shit. Dude, there's a championship for everything nowadays. They rolled on the back of their car like, nigga, we're going to be clapping their hands. I said, Frisbee? <laughs> you consider that a... <laughs> It was some, it was a girls fris, frisbee team, but I was like, I consider that a real sport. We play my that dog, free. In my the dog go catch a frisbee. <laughs> Is that disrespectful? A bit. How? Well, hmm. nigga, they ain't give out no trophy. They just gave out stencil. Put it on your car, nigga. You won. I blow the horn for him just in, you know, to be like, I'm happy I won a uh, Frisbee competition. I ain't mad at you. Do it Professional, do Chris. Professional. <laughs> do what you enjoy, goddammit. Now, you nigga that play lacrosse, I don't understand it. <laughs> That's it. I'm leaving it at that. I don't understand it. Or the other white people who be beating their horse to get a ball through a small hole. Oh, Polo. <laughs> you niggas are whipping the horse and hitting the ball. Hey, my, you know what? We had to we had to do a run through a sports that me, Jamar, and Brandon just don't get. <laughs> and maybe somebody can call in and let us know. They always <laughs> gonna explain it to you. A motherfucker gonna tell me, nigga, Fritz, they gonna somebody gonna get mad. Frisbee's a real sport. <laughs> if you don't get endorsements on it, my man, <laughs> do you consider it a real sport, Brandon? I mean, let's not get crazy, but I've watched some of those fucking videos of those motherfuckers playing that frisbee golf and then throwing that frisbee like nine miles making it curve and shit i mean there's definitely some skill to it now is it a sport mm. yeah nigga are you gonna get paid five thousand dollars a year for your sport or are you gonna get paid a hundred thousand a million i mean yeah at frisbee you play you. it free in the park my nigga if you can play it free in the park it ain't no sport hey well, this how you know if it's a real sport do black people play it <laughs> do they dumb there you it? Go. <laughs> now that i'm not sure i don't know like would you consider esports a sport? Those motherfuckers get endorsements out the ass. But who? Hey, nigga, esports a real sport. Nigga, nigga got to he got to train hard, eat snacks, stay in his mama basement. Are we talking about a video game? <laughs> yeah, sports? mainline Mountain Dew. Well, fuck, I see the nigga. I seen niggas make a million dollars. I've seen a man. I've seen five team of Americans make a million dollars, and you know what they got at the end? All the pussy. I was in that motherfucker looking like a man who needed to be escorted out, bro. These motherfuckers got the stomachs hanging all out. The jam. Them niggas don't even know what the jam <laughs> looked like, bro. Well, they had all the fine girls signing T-shirts. And I'm like, what are we doing with our lives in here? These niggas of Vegeta and Goku, we over here looking like Krillin and Yumcha. We got to tighten up, man. Well, like I said, do you consider it a sport? Yeah, I mean, if you get endorsements from it, it's a sport. Okay, fair enough. Moving on, let's get on down. Somebody who got all the endorsements. Say that again, Jermaine. Oh no, I'm with you, my nigga. Hey, look, it makes sense. If a nigga pay you to do it, then you do it. Yeah, I appreciate your aerodynamics when you throwing a frisbee twelve miles. But let me, uh, like I say, man. Yeah, you know what I call a sport? Living in America. That's true too. <laughs> I ain't getting no trophy. Not at all. The only trophy you get is disrespect. Get on down to Business Insider. So, I'm a, I'm a, I want to throw this in a conspiracy theory. A SpaceX flight attendant said Elon Musk exposed himself to her and then tried to buy her a horse and give her $250,000 of silence. The silence. The silence her for that. And she said he, he, he got on the thing and pulled the Johnson out. Now, we all know Elon Musk been in the news like a motherfucker. Bruh, they are trying to destroy that man. Let that man be great. And everybody talking about, we told you he was a creepy man. I said, nah, that's that government shit talking. I ain't never seen a man not want $45 billion. You, Brandon? No. These motherfuckers is fighting tooth and nail just so he don't own Twitter. They don't like what he's saying. He is, he is exposing you motherfuckers every day now. And I told you, when they start bringing out the goddamn light work, really? So he exposed himself. That motherfucker, Elon Musk, he finna start suing everybody. <laughs> Yeah. As he should. Right. I hate to say it. I really hate to say it. Elon Musk, expose yourself to me, nigga, and give me two hundred fifty thousand dollars, nigga, and a horse, <laughs> nigga. I'm gonna sell that horse. <laughs> I have no reason for a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't taking, ain't, ain't that fuck up your network. 
Thank you, my nigga. This is going to the house and get paid for up and turn around my life. Thank you, nigga. I ain't, nigga. I, I ain't he said he you, exposed nigga. his penis to her, then, then he offered to buy her a horse. I said that don't even sound like that motherfucker, man. That nigga I, buy you a, a, a Ferrari, bitch. Why he buying you a horse? He ain't that cheap. He yeah. is cheap. That nigga stand in one bedroom apartment, don't he? Yeah, yeah, that's the only horse I want is the fucking Ferrari horse on the hood. Yeah, what? Hey, no, nah, nigga, give me some money. I don't want to kill myself driving that Ferrari. Nigga. Well, I mean, I want the money too, but you know, a Ferrari'd be sweet. Hey, hey look, bro, <laughs> I'm, yeah, hey, give I'm it back. Listening. I couldn't pay the taxes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like Jermaine. I ain't driving around no Ferrari. I can't afford that, but I'll sell that bitch. Yeah, yeah, my nigga. Hey, look, what you mean you ain't got one of these? How long you had this in the garage for ten years, nigga? They ain't, you ain't seen one of these in forever. How much you want? A hundred. Million well, it dollars. Is, it is 2022. You mean to tell me all of a sudden Elon Musk in the news talking about the government, the SEC, and all these other motherfuckers that he got somebody who came on and said he exposed himself? I, I'm with Jamal. Hey, bro. That, that nigga ain't had fishy. one. Think about that shit. He got all them Hulu specials and shit now about him, you know, fucking up them cars, killing them people. Y'all ain't seen that shit? Yeah, bro. Like Hulu released a. I said, God damn, that was fast. How long y'all been working on this special Elon Musk? I said they're trying to destroy that man. You know why it won't? You know why it won't work? The nigga work for the, the nigga work for hundred some billion dollars. Can't stop money. <laughs> <laughs> can't hey, boy, stop money. That's a moving object. And hey, bro, look, it ain't one product they won't buy from Elon Musk. Bro, you got even Bill Gates attacking him, talking about he ain't a good businessman. Why he want to buy Twitter, nigga? What? I would sell Twitter for one billion. Now, yeah, in the retrospect, you, Twitter is not worth for a bit forty-five billion, right? Uh, not why to me. This, why is it he tried to give him over value and he was gonna buy back the stock and everybody was gonna get paid and he gonna make the company private? What is the problem with him doing that, bro? He finna fuck some nigga shit up. He exposed some motherfucker. But you're more right, bro. Out of his whole fucking career, he ain't never had one sex harassment charge, and now. Out of his life, he gonna offer a bitch two hundred and fifty k and a horse. Come on, man, that nigga thought I I pee millions. You want two hundred fifty k? Yeah. Did she? Right. Hey, bro, why, why she didn't? You a flight attendant? You didn't take that money? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and you like, work on like you know he works on. I don't know. Maybe it did happen. It's some weirdos out there. But I'm saying it's a strange time to be throwing all that shit into the Woodworth now, right? No. Yeah. Why nobody else confirmed? Cut look, bro. If Elon Musk showed himself, I'm pretty sure Elon Musk showed himself to everybody. And the nigga too, he seemed too weird to be doing such a thing. You know what I mean? And he hey, ain't me, never with a group of people long hey, for me, a long time. You, you mind if I unbucket these pants and you can um see this Elon Musk? Extra nice. Shut up, nigga. What you doing here? Go sit in your seat, Elon. Okay, I'm sorry. You want a horse in 250 grand? I appreciate it, my nigga. How fast can I get it? Um, today. <laughs> nigga, I want it cash, nigga. But does, I, I'm just saying, I don't know Elon Musk. Maybe he did it, allegedly, supposedly, whatever. But do you see him just walking in that bitch pulling his Johnson out? You like that? I mean, I don't see. I don't see the man doing it. He, I hey, see Harvey Weinstein doing that shit. That nigga look like a motherfucker who will go jerk off in the plant and smile. Was it good for you, baby? Nigga, what did you just do? You, you saw it. Yeah, it was egregious. It was egregious. He did look like a toad. But yeah, Elon Musk. Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe it is about the you know the power and the control aspect more than yeah. But it, I mean, but it, it's it seems right. But the timing. The fucking timing. Man, yeah. I don't, oh, see. Oh, oh, I don't understand. A nigga is going out of space. You think I got time to show you my Johnson when I can show anybody my Johnson? <laughs> yeah, that's always my thing. Is like Elon Musk would not have any problem showing just any chick he wanted, probably his dong. You know, if he was like, hey, look, I'm Elon Musk. You know, Tesla's, you know, Tesla's. Oh, yeah, no Tesla's. You want you know. Tesla? Yeah, you want to go catch some Waffle House and then bang after this? Come on, man. You oh, no, know. man. I, I've been listening to interviews. That nigga's weird. The way that motherfucker sound, bro, don't sound like a man who's going to be just, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but Jamal, you know, right. Thank you, look, look at this 10 inch worm. <laughs> that nigga who lost a man who wears hair plugs that we did not know until now. 
Because Jermaine found an old video of this man. We need to post that shit. That nigga, hey, look, he was scary rich then, but then he he wasn't Elon Musk. He was just Elon. That nigga had new suits like from Predator 2, bro. His suit was too big for his body. Oh, yeah. Well, that nigga brought that goddamn McLaren. That suit was huge. That nigga looked like part of, um, I don't know, Belleville DeVoe. I don't know. Fucking new edition. I couldn't tell you. Timing is weird. Moving on to goddamn um, game, GameSpot.com. I don't appreciate you, Marvel, but I appreciate you. Marvel signed a deal to keep using Stan Lee likeness, likeness for 20 years, bro. They going to be pimping that nigga dead so for 20 years. And I guess it's good that the family going to get the money. But wait till they wheeze a lot of that shit and he be in everything. Oh, the nigga finna got... Oh, man. He, he ain't going to never miss a Marvel movie. What? They going to start cloning that nigga. <laughs> hey, Tony Stank. <laughs> 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 they gonna be all in Avatar being in a new Chip and Dale movie they just gonna be throwing clones out there <laughs> they gonna be signing autograph oh shit he licks a word yeah <laughs> oh hey Parker Peter I love you man oh this nigga here gonna fuck it up bro oh, I can't wait finna, this man finna get turned to an algorithm oh uh, <laughs> Him, up, him and hologram Tupac and go fucking yeah. have a have a beer together. It's gonna be a goddamn hologram Tupac, Biggie, and goddamn Elvis shirt, baby. All them niggas was sitting down, legit. Real man, they were all sitting. They gonna have a I photo. I can't stand it. I said y'all niggas paid to see a hologram. Y'all niggas insane. <laughs> I don't want to see that scary shit. Hey man, you might as well just buy the CD. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see no. Gotta look at Tupac with no feet. <laughs> okay. It's fucking Jermaine to be out in the crowd yelling. Put all that yelling, nigga. You scam me. You goddamn right. Look how I turned my head. I've been holding my fist up. Like, what's wrong with y'all, nigga? Do you, hey, bro. Love man. Fuck that shit. Hey, Jamar. And Brandon, don't forget. The hologram company went broke twice. Bankruptcy. Two, three times. And they finna come back again, baby. Yeah, <laughs> Stan put- Lee. It's signing autographs at Dragon Con for nine thousand dollars. Give me some woo long, nigga. Uh, moving on, let's get on down to New York Post. We are gonna give a big shout out to Dick Van Dyke. I thought he was dead forty years ago, but allegedly he's still alive and he's ninety six and he hit the gym with his wife. Boy, I'm gonna tell y'all paparazzi, y'all niggas ain't worth shit. This nigga <laughs> ninety six years old. Leave that y'all nigga waited long. for him to come out of the gym to take a photo. Like, yeah, right. come on, man. I mean, he looks terrible. What, what's he lifting? <laughs> what's he lifting in there? Yeah, <laughs> bro, that nigga. I'm telling you, Brandon and Jamal. Excuse me, old fella. Could you tell me how to get to room eight forty three? I'm Dick Van Dyke. I don't know who you are, man. Nigga, you don't look. You, you ain't my Dick Van Dyke. The last time I seen Dick Van Dyke, he was a healthy man. You. <laughs> I don't know what you are, my brother. You look like a... I mean, God bless him for fucking staying I'm active glad he at 96. Up. Yeah, but like, I'm with, I'm with Jamar, man. You scumbag paparazzis are ridiculous. Yeah. Right. If I got to see one more fucking article just like, look at what this celebrity was wearing, I'm just going to fucking die. Bro, I was, I, I was mortified that like that. Y'all, I'm like, Jamar, so y'all took y'all time to get this man. Look at this nigga. I'm telling you, bro. He looked like a. He looked like somebody. Uh, he looked like Wolfman Jack. Never stopped doing crap. I mean, coke. I mean, make that <laughs> rhyme, but, you know. he, he, but he looked like that Muffy with the gold tooth who got that beard and he, they always played jazz. Oh, no <laughs> what's yes. his name? Yeah. God, what was that fucking guy's name? Uh, nobody knows, man. Cause they, you know, first of all, y'all nigga had a Muffet with a gold tooth and a black voice. Moving on to ain't he good, though, won't he will. Sometimes God give it, and sometimes he taketh away. The great questions we should be asking. Why is there a Muffet with a gold tooth? Why this nigga in the gym? <laughs> I'm like, Brandon, he didn't lift nothing. I don't even... <laughs> he was sitting there watching. I'm going to run two miles, honey. Dude, he could barely lift the car to get in the door. Yeah, nigga, hey, who put these shoes on? <laughs> they too tight. And I love Dick Van Dyke, bro. That nigga is still alive. He beat them all. He been, 
Everybody he worked with, I'm still alive, honey. Yeah, no shit. Man, fuck you. Uh, what's the, what's the name of Andy Griffin? <laughs> Andy Griffith. No, the other one, the skinny one. Uh, oh, done. fuck you, done not. <laughs> fuck I fool. Oh, oh man, be good though, won't he? Will this is when God gives given. A young man was born without a jaw. Joseph William. He said he has been finally rescued by love. He found the love of his life. Hey, I, I don't know what's going on, but he was born without a whole jaw as a baby. But that motherfucker, hey, man, he finally got married. So we appreciate God for sprinkling some hope and giving him some. And he do sign language and everything. And he was saying, never give up, people, no matter how hard it get. All, the only people, the only person who can fail you is yourself. So keep fighting hard. We appreciate that. I guess she has to fold all the towels, huh? I don't know what you mean by that. Well, I'm lost. I mean, typically when you fold a towel, you use your chin. But if you ain't, you know, gotta. Do you? I don't use my goddamn chin no more. I, I couldn't tell the last time I used my chin. I be folding that shit so fast and they're throwing it in the closet. Uh, well, all right. Maybe I'm still the only person who folds a towel like a five-year-old. That's probably so. That's a beautiful girl he married, too. I, don't, I was know. about to say, for a motherfucker with no jaw, he did all right. Yeah. <laughs> he did exceptionally well. Hey man, I'm fine. I'm glad he found love. Yeah, motherfuckers no. out here looking like Brundle Flaw and shit. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna say what Christian said. Moving on, let's get on down to a Mount Amber Heard. We gonna we gonna give a big shout out to her case because the entertainment that is coming from that shit is all a distraction. But God damn it, if it ain't entertaining. Yeah, true that. God has given us the hysteria of Amber Heard and Johnny Depp, and you know. It is, you know how easy it is to have people fighting each other? Like, just read the comments. All oh, you stupid a-holes out here. All you worried about is your Jack Sparrow doing another dumbass movie. Amber Heard is out here hurting. She cut a nigga finger off. I just found that <laughs> shit out. Allegedly. Allegedly, my ass. I seen they that got, shit. They got, man, they, they got nigga, you, That nigga finger don't even move, bro. He be in certain movies. They be, cut, they be cutting around that shit. <laughs> yeah. Bro, let me tell you something. That nigga can't even grab a whole gun. That's probably why hit Jack Sparrow left his pinky up with every time he shoots somebody. <laughs> probably. That motherfucker, hey Brandon, he got the he got witnesses. He got the um <clears throat> the EMTs, the police, and other people. He, she slammed a bottle of alcohol on his hand. Allegedly, and, because her version of events is he was swinging the bottle of alcohol and accidentally cut off his own finger in man, a drunken bro, I just stupor. Seen, I, I seen somebody do a key bump in court. I don't hear that shit. Man, I don't uh, trust. Allegedly, I don't, I don't trust a motherfucker who can key bump in court. <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> like she coming to sue us for our oven Christmas. Amber <laughs> 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 Heard gonna take our laptop. She don't want. <laughs> we don't need to get on that shit. They make their own coffee. <laughs> Dude, these are two of the most toxic people I've ever seen, though. Like. How do you stay? If your old lady was acting up like that, would you stay with that bitch? Bro, them niggas are crazy together. Moving on to the table. Bro, I want to say one thing. They was married for 15 months. A nigga get a $56 million defecation. Throw it in your face after 15 months. Think about that. Dude, I'm just saying the she, first she time she ain't gonna win this case, bro. That shit is not looking in her favor. The first time she'd have thrown my phone out the window or throwing the fucking wine bottles at hey, me. Or... Hey, look at my face, Brandon. <laughs> Nigga, you ain't never messing no. I ain't, now I will say I ain't messing no crazy, crazy ass girl. But you ain't never got your phone thrown across. I've been slapped three times. I ain't never been slapped. Me well, it's it it been wild. <laughs> Yeah, no, me neither. I've never had my fucking phone rooted through or anything. Like, maybe I have to. Maybe I have to tell these stories one day. I've been slapped three times. Boy, I tell you. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> won't he Amber win? Heard a tonic, <laughs> attorney does some bizarre shit doing an impersonation of Johnny Depp, and then let's get on down to Amber Heard. Said that she called James Franco, James Franco, one late night to visit her apartment. After a fight with Johnny Depp because she had exhausted all of her support network. I said, nigga, how do you exhaust? Crackheads exhaust their support network, right? 
Yeah. I mean, you can too. Fucking, you know, you're over there fighting every damn day. The first time it's like, oh my God. By the 10th time, you're like, oh man, you're on some, oh man, really? You fucking Amber Heard. That, that's you crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yep. That's wild. I'll cut his own finger off, huh? Mm. Mm. Yeah. You, you know, <laughs> you can just do that thing where you're trying to get off the phone. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah. That's the crazy. last nigga. The last nigga you need to be <laughs> calling for help is James Franco. <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. Well, and he came yeah. to your apartment, and they got him on videotape, but that nigga stayed up there all weekend long. No, <laughs> oh, sure no James Franco put some of that Franco in there, uh, yeah, you know. Allegedly. I put that Frank in that call. And like, bro, don't nobody even fuck with James Franco no more, and, and you had to call this nigga. There's like me calling on goddamn... Um, Charles Manson. Yeah, Charles Manson to help me out as my support animal. <laughs> nah, my nigga. Charles, my... <laughs> My pit bull had called Charles Manson and he helped me see things at night. No, nah, my nigga, it don't work like that. Yeah, my pet werewolf been treating me, giving me, curing my anxiety. <laughs> yeah. I, guess, I don't know, man. I don't know. How, has Hollywood forgiven, forgiven James Franco? Has he been any, in anything recently? I'm oh, no, nah, ain't nobody fuck with that nigga. He done What done. did James Franco do? I do not know. If anybody want to know. He had some sexual harassment uh he got kind of swept up in that Me Too, Todd. I think he was like fucking with like, if they weren't underage, they were very, they were pretty damn young. Couple college uh, chicks yeah. and shit. <laughs> that nigga on the list. <laughs> <laughs> he is on a list. Yeah, well, he and, is I mean, probably banned from Hollywood. And he came right out, he like he came out and apologized and shit too. So whatever they were accusing him of, it looked like maybe you. Know, no one they ain't seen that nigga and nothing else. Yeah, and they did the Wizard of Oz in the goddamn. Don't look at the man behind the curtain. We looked and fucked his whole career up. Yeah, so yeah, there's mm -hmm. that. Um, and moving on down, Am like I said, Amber Heard is not going to win this case. Doesn't look like it because she is slipping and she walked out of court last week, stormed out that bitch. Let me tell you something. If you're trying to get fifty million, and Johnny Depp is even worse. Like people stop fucking with him. He lost all his money. But then Amber Heard say her sister taught Johnny Depp to snort cocaine with a tampon application. And like I said before, what the hurry is doing tonight? Because I need to hang out with y'all. Y'all motherfuckers doing some strange shit, and I need to holler at you. Because it's some, it's some good time. You're going to put that goddamn bottle down. I appreciate you. You cut anything on me? You ever seen Back to the Future? I don't even know what that is. Tighten up. Yeah. You're going to need a DeLorean when I slap you. You're going to go back in time and, and pray to white Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And they I'll do. slap you again. <laughs> they do know how to party. I'll give them that. Yeah. Damn, Amber Heard, so you snout that shit through a tampon application. I don't even know how that works. But I'm glad you figured it out. Now America know how to snout. Tampons going to be flying off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> They going to, hey, look, you got to have a lot of coke to sniff through a tampon uh, thing, right? I don't know, bro. Like I said, with all them drugs, they, like, Johnny Depp giving her the good. Amber Heard was giving him the good. No way in hell I would stay with nobody that long for that type of shenanigan. And she, Johnny Depp ain't got $50 million. You ain't going to get that. That nigga toasted, bro. He probably got $4 million left in the bank. What? Yeah, I think he is, like... Fairly broke. I mean, he's still well, got more money than me, but yeah. shit, nigga, when them lawyer, when them lawyer get chomping down on the rest of that little money, yeah. because well, if he, he win the case, he's going back to Hollywood. Amber Heard is fucked up as we speak right now. Yeah. She got dropped from DC, and they got a picture of her and Jason Momoa all hugged up and shit, laughing. I'm like, there people starting to question their relationship. Hey man, <laughs> Jason Momoa like that. Shit, I ain't got nothing to say. Amber Heard now at a party. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah. Anything else? Hey. Fuck it. Ain't he good though, won't it? We, we hope God get them people on the right path in <laughs> this life. This nigga lost not. $650 million. Good grief. That nigga insane. Let's get on down to well, you. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't trust this website. I don't know you, Markera. Sorry about that. Those niggas just be making guesstimations. Them niggas says Zendaya will worth $2 million. She seen that shit on TikTok and made like a crying emoji. <laughs> <laughs> she, she like, what? Moving on, you don't fuck up your money, right? This is when celebrities and poor people and businesses, they do things and fuck their money up. 
You know what I mean? You go into the store, you buy a Lamborghini, and then the economy drop your Lamborghini worthless now. <laughs> I'm laughing at you, my man. <clears throat> Get the Lambo with no gas, though. Nigga, I dropped out. I, I woke up in the Bugatti, boy. I bet you that nigga sitting at home sick. Yeah, I woke up in a new Bugatti. Yeah, I woke up in my mom house because he fucked up that money with that gold chain. That was worthless. Let's get on down to the people don't fucked up their money, right? Paternity test confirmed Flavor Flav is the father of a three-year-old. Let me tell you women something. He ain't got no money. Who's still taking raw Let's dick see. for Flavor Flav is amazing. It's blowing my mind. <laughs> Flavor Flav. This nigga How much like, is Flavor Flav net worth? This man looks like a he, he looks like a little a little. No, he still got two million dollars left. That ain't no good as a net worth. That's a lot of shit thrown there together, my nigga. So you could have about a hundo, fifty uh five fifty k. And then they got like twelve children. <laughs> no way, you still got more money than me. Do your thing, Flay. You went for Where being you? a. You gave me the ugliest. <laughs> this SpongeBob episode. Oh shit! You gave me the ugliest. I love it. <laughs> Movie go. You oh, should watch boy. it, Brandon. It's funny. If I find, I'm sending it to you. Right. I cried until I, I cried until I wheezed, like Brandon would normally say. Christian sent in this story, this story from comicbook.com. SpongeBob. Ugly. Ugh. This nigga here still talking while we on the thing. I thought I hit the button. My bad. Nigga, carry on. All right. I laugh until I wheeze. Like Brandon normally say, bro, I cried and I cried and I cried. This is story from comicbook.com. Uh, and this one I was like, it's scamming times. <laughs> that shit tickled me to death. But Austin St. John, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers star charged with fraud. Dude. <laughs> Christian was like, Rita finally got him. <laughs> she you know him as the Red Ranger she from the original? Him. She reported him to the feds. I think Zed said, my nigga. <laughs> we got him. Dude, how many of the Power Rangers have been fucked up in legal troubles now? That one guy killed somebody with a fucking sword. Yeah. Well, well, which one was that? Well, that, that was the Power Ranger we didn't know, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it was one of the later Rangers, you know. Then the Green Ranger. Fuck, didn't he end up stabbing somebody? Oh, yeah, but he got off on that because that was in self-defense. Yeah, okay. Bro, I want you to understand this. For me, I grew up with these niggas. I like these niggas. Oh. I understand this. Human beings, bro, once that money runs dry, you start stabbing niggas. Everybody <laughs> thinks you weak because you a power ranger until they realize you a real ass nigga with some problems. <laughs> like, nigga, I ain't took my medicine today. Nigga, I got 10 swords. In the hey, bro. I, I, I can guarantee you that. one thing. If them niggas were power rangers in the 90s, bro, they ain't got nothing. Now. They got nothing. That patient they would get is gone. Oh, well, they got a regular job. Amy Jo Johnson. Wow. She, she, she's an own writer now. She write stuff. But, yeah. Uh-huh. The writer, yeah don't let bruh. me look up that network. So, this man has been caught on that PPP fraud. This nigga <laughs> brought in other businesses, small businesses. Bro, let me tell y'all niggas something, man. Y'all niggas. They catching all y'all now, even but, the celebrities. Yeah, they're coming back for that money. Whatever money you think you got away with during the pandemic, they're com they're coming back for that shit. I promise you. you she ain't doing mean? bad. She got a net worth of three hundred thousand. Amy Jo Johnson? Yeah. Oh, that's disrespectful. As hell. Nigga. The mortgage paid, ain't it? Three hundred thousand. <laughs> nigga, you, dude, that, that is, you think this nigga running PPP fraud? You think this bitch around here swimming in the lap of luxury? But nigga, damn. the only thing she can show her kids is Power Rangers, nigga. That's it. <laughs> Infelic- like, infelicity. Fuck, you know? guys. 300,000. Damn, son. I mean, I don't. I mean, I can't say nothing. I'd have been living with the fucking uh, stabby ranger all broke as hell, strung out on drugs. So don't let me fucking like sit here on my high horse. Yeah, like I, uh, cool yeah, yeah like a nice house, nice apartment. Yeah, don't let me, don't let me get you fucked up. Like I would have fucking kept all of my money because I would not have. You know, 
But now, you know, now I look back on Amy Joe Johnson, she ain't that pretty. What? Uh, she could, was just get out of here, Jen. She, she had like girl next door cuteness. Yeah. Yeah, for like six months until she got old. Whoa, you starting to thin at the top, baby. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see. I don't. I don't think I've seen her since. Oh, uh, look her up right now. But bro, it has to be amazing. Y'all niggas got to stay away from the PPP loan. And they ain't even gonna lie to you. I was sitting in the house saying it's it's scamming time. Pyramid scheme, <laughs> gas fraud. <laughs> <laughs> you know they say try sell top. Try say on top, nigga. nigga I'd eat fraud. I'd eat there. What do you mean? What are you talking? Speaking in cold. Man, what are you talking about? She's still fly. Mm. I just fly these nuts on the wall. Let's get on down so no, you don't fuck up your money again. This is from harddrive.net. Nintendo, understand something. I think Brandon, who sent the story? Brandon or Jermaine? I think I sent it, but I actually read. I, actually I read, read this somewhere. motherfucker too. I, I'm I'm gonna need Nintendo to tighten up. Nintendo and I, Nintendo announced female characters will no longer be able to drive Mario Kart following the Saudi Arabia investment. Dude, you know that this was like from the hard times or something. It's like an Onion article. Was it fake? Yeah, yeah, this is fake as fuck. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is an I'm going to say, boy, I had to read this whole situation. This nigga had quotes and shit. Yeah, no, this is this is pretty practically an Onion article. <laughs> I love it. I was like, man, uh, y'all niggas <laughs> insane. Yeah. yeah, no, that headline's hilarious, though. Oh, niggas mad as a motherfucker about this shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> what fuck you talking about canceling goddamn Nintendo? Well, I guess you didn't fuck your money up. Moving on, just yeah, yeah, no, that's completely fake. You, you didn't do your DD, nigga. Not my money, Princess Brain. I'll be telling nigga, y'all get y'all five percent nickel ass out of here, nigga. Oh, this is from NFT.com. I totally made that up. The artist behind the fearless girl is selling NFT to fund her legal case against the company that put the statue on Wall Street. Brandon sent this story. You got anything else on that? Uh, yeah. She's about to be the moneyless girl. Yeah. <laughs> because she damn, uh, she damn, uh, fucking made that thing. And, you know, the, the people like commissioned that, uh, brave girl or whatever the fuck. Fearless girl. Whatever. Uh, so then she started making replicas of it and selling it. And they were like, no, man, like that's our intellectual property. Property, you can't do that. And then she tried to, you know, pull feminism out of her fucking sleeve like a magic trick. And, you know, now dumb people are funding her fucking court case that she's going to lose. And all I, all I can tell her is... Let me teach you how to be homeless, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Brandon, you, what she going to say when they take out her money? No, no. <laughs> Living in America, <laughs> you got me talking pot. I didn't mean it. Uh, yeah, I didn't it want them. Uh, nigga, I get all the funds back. I love it, man. <laughs> I, I I got one thing. So I hate them fucking bronze statues. I hate it. <laughs> all I can say is that's what you get, you dumb bitch. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you commissioned a nice statue that Wall Street is using to fuck America. We do appreciate it. And they got your ass. Should have read that paperwork. <laughs> like I said, she's gonna be penniless girl here soon. Oh boy, uh, what? Hey, look. Can you throw some money in a hat? <laughs> money in a jaw? Anything? This folk gonna fuck our shit up. <laughs> oh, you can. You know, it, small small bananas can never fight the big fries, especially when you got that big commission work. Tighten up. Uh, moving on. We all need to go to New Delhi. Who? New Delhi. Is that a place or is that a sandwich shop? It's actually a place. Oh, this is for CNN.com. Indian couple sue only son for not giving them grandchild. Boy, like I Bro, said. Bro, they trying to shoot this motherfucker. They trying to sue him for 643,000 rupees, which is like. Rupees. Nah, no. Uh, it's rupees. It's 50 million Indian rupees, which is about like $643,000 in American money. Because the nigga didn't give him a child. <laughs> But yeah, they was like, who's going to fucking, who's going to take care of us when we're old? And, you know, we paid for this motherfucker to get through school and get a good job and shit. And he yeah, was just a grandkid. I'm like, God damn, it's like that. Yeah. I ain't even know. I love it. I ain't even know you fucking 
parents could hold you hostage like that. That's why I was glad. I'm glad I'm living. Living in America. Bro, well, they pay him. They said they, they entered in the petition. They said they spent 20 million Indian rupees, rupees which is about $257,000 raising their son, who was who is their only child. They raised him, educated him, made him capable, made him a pilot, which was expensive. And he owes us a son. You got to be looking at the nigga like that, Brandy. Mom and dad, I'm moving. Where you going, son? Living in America. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting none of this, my nigga. Tighten up. How you saw a nigga semen? I like it. Dude didn't like uh, with the way Indian laws are set up. They might fucking, you know, they got a good chance of winning it. There's like some kind we, of precedent hey, over you there. You got to have sex with her. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was like, "We didn't marry these. We didn't marry them off, so we could not have fucking kids." You know. Hey, uh, hey little bread. Are uh, y'all fucking or what? I want some grandbabies. <laughs> you think your dad is Two. sitting in the room? You fucking yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mama's sitting there. Oh, baby, you bringing us a child? I can't have children. <laughs> you lying to me? Yeah. Man, I'd just be like, as long as you're the one waking up in the middle of the night to change him and feed him, and you know what I'm saying? Fuck, I ain't got time yeah. for all that. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what we're going to do. Half the baby. <laughs> he should he should adopt a little white child. Here you go, mother. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> What's your baby? <laughs> and that's the end of part one. Thanks for everybody for tuning in. Uh, come back Friday for the exciting conclusion of part two.